Welcome to New Hampshire's Business, I'm Fred Coker. Manchester business leaders are creating a plan to improve the city's schools with private funds and private resources. Let's take a look at some of the challenges that this plan is going to address. Enrollment decline, per pupil spending, last of all New Hampshire school districts. 57% of students qualify for free or reduced cost lunch, and 826 students are homeless. That comes from the Manchester School District. Now, here is the just a sketch of what uh, we're gonna talk about. The launch of Manchester Proud Initiative, developing and implementing a plan to improve the schools. They're going to engage the community and leverage private resources and privately fund it. With me to talk about this are two of those business leaders in Manchester. They are Patty Lanat, president of campus at the Southern New Hampshire University. Welcome. Hi, Fred. Nice to have you here. Thanks. And Barry Bretzinger, principal of the Valley Bretzinger Architects right here in Manchester. Welcome, Barry. Hi, Fred. Nice Thank to you. have you here. Let me ask you first, how did this come about? Patty. Want to take that one, Patty? Patty? Well, for me, for me, um, I had noticed that in hiring faculty uh, from outside of the area became more difficult. And the reasons that we were getting, for example, were, um, you know, we checked out the schools and uh, we, we didn't like what we saw. And it's difficult to try to explain to a family, well, you know, you can move to Bedford, you can move to, they want to live Sure. in the city where they work. Sure. And so I had some concerns. And talking with other folks around the community, we all started telling the same kind of story, mm -hmm. uh, concerns we had about the schools being an issue. Yeah, and some of those challenges we just put up on the screen. Absolutely. Barry, mm -hmm. what's this plan gonna look like? This plan is gonna be a 14 month long process. It's going to begin with a very strong community engagement piece where we reach out with canvassing and neighborhood meetings and focus groups around the city to, dev to define a collective vision for our schools. We think that's critical um, and what di differentiates this movement from others actually is the community engagement piece. Um, you, you mentioned the school funding issue and we've been asked a number of times should we raise taxes? Should we, do we spend enough? Do yeah. we spend? My answer to that is nobody knows. In the absence of a plan for our schools, how could we possibly know what, the, what is the right amount to spend? So we as a community need to go through a process to determine what's the current state of our schools, what are aspirations for schools, where yeah. do we want to be, what's their role in our community, and then how much is the right amount? To spend and you're going to schools. raise the money privately in the in in the community among business leaders, I assume. Businesses and individuals, yes. And individuals. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have any idea how much you're going to need for the planning process? Yeah. We're um, we're currently budgeting five to six hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars, okay. but we think that might we might need to stretch that a little yeah. bit. But right. order of magnitude, that's what we're. And doing. I would imagine being business leaders like you are, and you've got a, a another group of business leaders with you. I'm, I'm assuming at this point. Oh yes. Uh, in the city, um, I imagine that future workforce is something you're looking at here. Absolutely. Um, Ab yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, certainly. Yeah. That's part of the problem, too. That's another part of the problem. Uh, we certainly need to produce better graduates from our yeah. schools in order to keep uh, maintain talent here in the right. area as right. well. One of our core messages, Fred, in yep. fact, is that there is something in this for everyone. Every yes. resident of the city, whether you're the 28% who has mm -hmm. a student in school or not, right. has a stake in this because it affects property values, it affects the, the sure. ability of our business community sure. to attract and retain talent, um, crime, substance abuse, all those issues that we're talking about, all in and some measure. And the homeless measure, issue, which I hope, thought was amazing. Absolutely, yes. all um, relate to When do you schools. start? We're starting right now. <laughs> right now. Actually, we started a month or two ago, <laughs> yeah. okay. and you mentioned a list of supporters. The, rea the response from the community has been overwhelming. Right. We have more than 100 of the primary businesses and not-for-profits right. signed up as supporters. Barry Bressinger, who is principal of La Valley Bressinger Architects, and Patricia Lynott, president of Campus at mm -hmm. Southern New Hampshire University. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much.